The England starting 11 is exactly as my colleague Rob Dorsett has been reporting all day. Uh, the big news is that England have made four changes. Harry Kane does start, Phil Foden in the starting 11 as well. The four changes are Carl Walker coming in at right back for Kieran Trippier, Jordan Henderson in midfield coming in for Mason Mount, Phil Foden coming in for Raheem Sterling and Marcus Rashford starting in place of Bukaya Saka. So the England starting 11, Jordan Bickford of course in goal, back four of Walker, Maguire, Stones and Shaw, three in midfield, Declan Rice, Jude Bellingham keeping his place in the starting 11 again and Jordan Henderson coming in and the front three, Kane of course, through the middle, either side of him, Phil Foden and Marcus Rashford. Also looking at the substitutes bench, James Madison uh, features for the first time after recovering from that slight knee injury, but there is no place on the bench for Ben White. Now he's been missing from training uh, with an illness, so I think that is the reason why he is not on the bench. But look, four changes for England, uh, income Foden, Rashford, Henderson and Walker and Harry Kane starting against Wales this evening. Carve Solokol, our chief reporter, thank you. Right, that's England. Let's find out the side they'll play because Geraint Hughes, our senior reporter, has the Wales lineup. Geraint. I mentioned revolution rather than evolution. I thought it'd be evolution, but Rob Page has gone revolution. Two changes, but a change of formation as well. He's gone with a, a back four. I'll just get to the, the crux of it. Start with the 11. Danny Ward, of course, starting in goal. Then it's a back four with Tottenham's Ben Davies at left back, Nico Williams over on the right, the centre backs, Joe Roden and Chris Meppham. Then the midfield, Ethan Ampadu, Joe Allen starts. He came on briefly against Iran, but a miraculous recovery from a, a serious hamstring injury. Joe Allen starts. Dan James comes back into the side, and that will allow Aaron Ramsey and Gareth Bale to play slightly higher up the pitch with the big man up front, Kiefer Moore, six foot five of him as well. So that is probably the best uh, lineup that Wales could go with in terms of if Rob Page has in any way listened to the fans. This is the lineup they wanted. These are the players they wanted. It allows Bale and Ramsey to possibly play a little bit higher up the pitch. But a couple of changes there, of course, and that reversion to a flat back four rather than Rob Page's preferred back three. Geraint Hughes, fabulous. So that's the Wales side and the England side. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, fans of both sides have begun to make their way into the Ahmed bin Ali Stadium. Let's head there now and join another one of our senior reporters, Tim Thornton. Tim. There have been long queues in the first game getting into the stadium. It was better in the second group games. In the third games, the queues are moving pretty quickly. Some fans here just waiting to get in the queue to get into the stadium with big smiles on their faces. You got your tickets at the ready? We're good, yeah, it's easy, easy peasy, all done, ready to go. Fantastic. Yeah. What a venue, superb, isn't it? It's impressive from the outside. What are, what are we expecting once you get inside on the pitch? Oh, Saka, hat trick, <laughs> definitely. That's all I want to see. Yeah, we're going to absolutely do them big time, I think. Are you as confident? Uh, I'm perhaps not as confident as, uh, as Chris, but uh, I think 2-0. I think, I think that's probably a likely result for us today. But we're going to win, definitely. And what's it been like, this whole World Cup experience, all the new stadiums and England so far? I think it's been fantastic. I mean, there was some bad press at home, but, you know, coming out here, it's, uh, it's been amazing. Really well organised, no trouble, you know, very slick. Everything's been, been superb. It's been a great experience, hasn't it? OK, well, we're going to watch you as you uh, join the queue. So head off and uh, enjoy Cheers. your evening. So that's two England fans on their way into the stadium as we count down to kick off.